I designed and built this ring roller five or six years ago, thinking it would be a really nice tool to have in the shop. After I finished building it, I stopped by a couple of machine shops in town, hoping to have some dies made. At which point I realized the ring roller was doomed to become the proverbial treadmill turned clothes hanging rack, or in this case, the clamp hanging rack. I should have known how expensive the dies were going to be to have machined, especially if I was to have multiple sets for different widths of material I wanted rolled. I designed it so a bottle jack would press the middle roller down, and then the piece would be worked left and right, back and forth, giving it the bend, in theory. The bottom two rollers are tied together with a chain. I wanted to make the center roller driven as well, but I realized it was a bit out of my engineering ability since it needed to turn the opposite direction and also travel up and down. I figured it'd be just fine with just the bottom two rollers being driven. Instead of having multiple roller sets, I realized I could make individual plates that I could stack together to give me the width I needed to match the material I was rolling. Then a couple larger outer plates I thought would keep the material centered on the rollers. When I got the CNC plasma cutting table, I thought I might be able to make my own dies and finally finish the ring roller. I currently have another project going on that I really needed something rolled for, which was just the motivation I needed to finish this thing up. I asked Daniel to help me load a full sheet of quarter inch plate cool, thank you. and got to cutting. Once I had a couple cut, I started cleaning them up with flat disc on a angle grinder while the CNC continued to cut. The plates were a really nice fit. There's a couple that needed a touch up with the die grinder where the initial pierce splashed over, but not too many. I tightened nuts down on the bolts so the bolts would be held perpendicular and in place before welding them onto the back side to the inside plate. I also welded the inside plates to the keyed shaft collars behind them. This gave me a chance to try my hand at some rotary welding, just kind of like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. I figured it was going to be really important to have all the rollers perfectly lined up with each other. So it would be rings I was rolling, and not spirals. I tapped them over until they were flush with my square, and then tightened the set screws down to hold them in place. And then I was ready to try rolling my first piece which I thought should be a piece of one inch rebar that I needed for a handle on the roller. I took out some plate so it matched the one inch width of the rebar and gave it a go. I was a little skeptical of how well it was gonna work this wasn't exactly the easiest material to be starting off with. 
the notches on the rebar were a pain in the butt and kind of caused it to roll back and forth in a clicky way. But I was really happy to see it start to take shape. The pieces of scrap rebar I had were too short to roll into a whole circle, so I had to do two halves. I cut out a circle on the CNC as a template to match with indents at the center, which helped a lot to accurately cut the rebar into half circles. I was really happy with the ring. It matched the template really closely. I grabbed one of the larger outer plates, which I wanted the handle welded onto, and got it centered under the handle. Using the template again, I marked the locations of the spokes that I had previously cut and got it welded. The next time I went into town, I grabbed some half-inch wig nuts, which were really nice for letting me tighten down the plates by hand, not needing a wrench. There were a couple last little things I wanted to finish on the roller. I attached a ruler, thinking it might help match rolls if I knew the depth the middle roller was at. At least I would know when I was getting close, and I should start comparing it to the previous rolls. I welded some pegs onto the lower frame to store all the additional plates. And I also cut some stops that I could use to hold the spring-loaded middle roller in place so I could extend the bottle jack out for deeper bins. Getting back to the other project I'm working on that initially spurred me on to finish the ring roller, I hope to roll some angle. I cut some more plates of decreasing diameters that would match the shape of the angle. Again, I really didn't know how well this was going to work, but I thought it was worth a shot. It seemed like the angle couldn't really go anywhere other than into the shape I was wanting. So in my mind, it seemed like it was going to work. It worked surprisingly well actually. It rolled a lot easier than the rebar did, and it wasn't all that hard to get matching rolls either. One thing I learned pretty quickly is that you have to be sure to roll all the way out to the very end of every pass. Because if you start cutting it short, then you won't be able to get there on the next pass, and you'll start losing a lot of material. It was great finally getting the ring roller done. I guess now I just need to figure out where I'm going to store my clamps. It shouldn't be too much of an issue though. I have plenty of other unfinished projects around the shop that they can hang on.